Hi, I'm Steve Small, and I just wanted to show a very quick video about the difference between an anterior posterior spinal mobilization and a longitudinal spinal mobilization with IDD therapy. Um, what we've got is on this disc model, I have a, an ability to compress and cause the disc to herniate. I'm now applying compressive force, and you can see the disc starting to bulge outwards. If I simulate a, an anterior posterior mobilization you can see that the compression remains. With IDD therapy we do a longitudinal joint mobilization when the joint is distracted so we take pressure off the disc and then I can't simulate this but we mobilize in a longitudinal plane. So just to show that again, I'll move the nerve out of the way very easily, no nerve damage. Um, so I cause the compression as I'm applying considerable pressure downwards on the disc and I have a I can make it a very severe uh, herniation. Um, so we have the anterior posterior mobilization and this is you know this is straining my thumbs but it's not taking pressure off the disc the disc is crying out to be distracted to take pressure off the disc and to help retract that bulge so um, I hope that just gives you a um, an idea about the longitudinal mobilization capability of IDD um, and, and why it has its place.